Hello everyone and welcome back to Algebra 1. Today we are continuing with concept number 2, ratios, rates, and conversions. So please make sure you have your pencil and paper ready so we can get started. So today we're going to learn how to convert quarts into gallons. Now we want to figure out how many quarts are in 5 gallons. What we know is that in one gallon, there are four quarts. So our problem is going to look a little bit like this. So we have one gallon over four quarts. And we know that we want to figure out how many gallons, I'm sorry, how many quarts are in five gallons. Okay, gallons are on the top, quarts are on the bottom. Now we're going to use bow tie. We are going to multiply one times x, which will give us x. Then we're going to multiply four times five, that equals twenty. So now we know that in 5 gallons, there are 20 quarts. Now here we have a different example. We have 12 inches equals 1 foot. Now I want to figure out how many inches are in 3 feet. Again, we know that in 1 foot, there are 12 inches. And we're trying to figure out how many inches are in 3 feet. So we're going to use a variable for inches. And again, we're going to go in with bow tie and cross multiply. 1 times x equals x. And then 12 times 3 equals 36. So now we know there are 36 inches in 3 feet. Does that make sense to everybody? For your assignment today, I need you to tell me how many feet are in 3 yards. We're going to start off knowing that 3 feet equals 1 yard. So now you have to tell me how many feet are in a total of 3 yards. If you have any questions on today's assignment, please don't hesitate and ask. I'm here to help. I hope you all have a very wonderful day and I hope to hear from everyone very, very soon.